How's it guys? This is let me just put this on here. I don't think it's gonna stay there. This is like bushbuck. Oh, it's not as bad. This is like bushbuck attempt number five, I think. Um, so I'm not gonna put the other ones in because obviously nothing happened. Um because there was a lot of hunting and stuff going in between. Um, I think I was here on my last one about a month ago. So there's obviously only three weeks left of bushbuck season. So I thought I'd try my luck before this cold front cyclone is going to hit us. That they're forecasting for this um, weekend making landfall Cape Town tomorrow. So um, I thought I'll give it a go this afternoon just before it hits us tomorrow. Um, it's a very beautiful day. No wind. I think if there's wind, there's about one and a half, two miles per hour wind. So I've brought my trusty 338. And we're going to sit on that copy there on top where we always sit. And then um, obviously the land where they, most of the time they come out to graze in the open field is about 700 to 800 meters from me. So I'm making this video because I don't want to get up there and then there's one and then you only have to shoot and then I have like a two three minute video because I didn't make a video in front of that or before that um, take place so um, I've just finished my kudu hunt video as well this afternoon so I'll be loading that up on my channel um, in the next two or three days just need some fine tuning um, still to do so Without any time wasting, um, gonna get my rifle out the back, 338, and then we're gonna head up the hill and see. Um, it's now quarter past four, so we're gonna give it time until let's say 20 past on the latest half past five. So it gives us about an hour and 15 minutes to see if there will be a guy that's willing to step out in the open and give us enough time to see if we can put him down with the 338. So let's hold thumbs and see you guys up there guys i'm i'm even i'm not here even for 10 seconds my heart is racing there's a bush bug oh my god i'm not even ready Eight sixty five three three eight. My shooting direction is We've got everything. So we need to go up twenty three MOA. Twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three point two. And we have to go point five seven right.
I missed him. Why did I miss him? So, so, so unhappy now. <sighs> the wind must have pushed in another direction down there. Because I could see when I pulled the shot, when I squeezed the shot, that the shot went off just behind his back um, so my elevation was perfect because it went it was I'll show in the trigger cam uh, footage it was just behind his butt in the same line the the dust went on the back I mean he he got he got frightened <laughs> the hell out of him because <laughs> It's actually funny when I'm thinking of it now, the way he was moving and um, taking off into the bush. Um, damn, damn, I'm so, so, so pissed now. I never had buck fever like I did just now. There's something about these bushbuck animals that makes my fever go through the roof. But now... I've totally messed that up. I wasn't even ready yet. Um, still had to calibrate the kestrel, do everything, but obviously the wind changed or the wind's coming from another direction down there. I mean, the shot was 870 meters. So from here, the wind is almost, as I'm facing now from to the target where he was, the wind's almost from, let's say five o'clock. But now obviously I've put in the case will say 0.5, so I've put in two clicks to the right, but um, obviously that was too not enough. Um, but I that's shooting. Um, I'm just so unhappy now. <laughs> and it was a flipping nice ram. It was a decent size buck, but I'll show you guys in the trigger cam. Oh well, that's it for the session this afternoon i'm not even here for 15 minutes and we got our shot i would have just like to have shot that pushback with this rifle now that would have made my day my week my month and my year but any case guys that's how it goes yeah the wind must have been definitely too least there Otherwise, I would have clapped him definitely because my elevation was perfect. Look there, you can see there. It only says 0.57, so that's two clicks of wind to the right. But obviously, that wasn't enough. I think I would have clapped him if I took two or three clicks extra because I think I took the hair off his ass there. I'm just going to go re replay the footage in slow-mo and then... We'll see definitely what happened. There, down there, in that green piece at the end, there where the shade is in, he was there, 870 meters away. <sighs> Sorry guys, I couldn't show you. I could have showed you a kill on the trigger cam, but that's how hunting goes. I think I'm gonna sit here for, let's say, another 15 to 20 minutes just to see. Maybe I'm lucky, because I won't make the same mistake again, twice. But I think that's the, the afternoon, so uh, I think this will be the last time you see me. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll try and come and get him again. Now, I, at least I know now that it is here. There is one here because um, I took one out here last year. So, um, but I know they come and fill the space when there's another ram taken out or um, they come and take the territory, a new ram. So, um, but it's good to know there is one and it's a decent one. So yeah, we'll come again and try again. Thanks guys.